as we have been talking about, today is National Drive-In Movie Day, and Ken is serving up a little movie magic with his snack trays. Exactly. You and I are both very excited about this. We've got a history with drive-in movie theaters. It just brings back such, like, memories as a kid with a family. We'd go in our pajamas. Exactly. You know? Oh, it was great. And as Debbie said, there's less than 350, but they're still around. So people at home, like, look it up, find one, take your kids for that experience, because, you know, who knows how long they're going to be around. And it's fantastic that there is a national drive-in movie theater. Right. Like I mentioned a little bit earlier, because it's going to keep it going a little bit. Okay, exactly. So let's talk about these great trays. Right. You use these very cool uh, film reels. But before we get to where you find those, um, why do we have so many of them? How is this going to work? Well, I figured... Like, if you can't go out to the drive-in movies, let's create that sort of movie night at home, even more magical, nice. and bring some of that. And to me, part of it was, like, the food, the trip to the concession stand, the little trays that it Definitely. came back in. So let's kind of try to create that. So I wanted to do, like, a tiered tray using actual, like, movie reels. These I figured that would create that magic for our kids at Okay, home. good. And, now, and so you're going to kind of, like, do a layered effect? Is that the idea? Exactly. So what I have here is a, a just a wood tabletop base, a okay. plywood round. You good. can find a tray, whatever you have. And then two different sides. Size trays, two different size reels. Um, I'll put this guy here. All for you now. need, yeah, put them here. They don't, they don't need to match. Okay, very good. Um, in fact, in a way, it may be better if they don't, right? Well, yeah, because you're gonna kind of unify it all together. So find one, find ones that are interesting. Okay, very um, good. And now we're gonna create a little bit of depth, a little bit of height with this. Exactly. First thing we're gonna do, I just have a regular pipe flange here. I have three quarter inch, but okay. whatever size you happen to have lying around, or just get it from the hardware store. And we're just gonna screw the base in here. <laughs> Um, this just comes from the plumbing department. Now, for the reels, like, if you're lucky enough to stumble upon some, like, out at, like, flea markets and all that, if you're yeah. in L.A., go ahead and grab them. But these, um, I couldn't find them. You can buy them very inexpensively online um, as well. Is that right? Yeah. I so, was going to ask you about right, Especially for, this. like, you know, Academy Awards parties, party supply places happen, so they're not difficult to find. They're not You expensive. could use them as decor. You could use them for your trays. Exactly. I mean, all sorts of different So don't ideas. feel like, yeah, those people that don't live in Hollywood, that you're never going to be able to find them. Anybody can find them. I got them in, like, two days. I love how easily that put together, Screws by Screws right on. I have a six-inch pipe here and okay. then another flange. Creating a little distance here. Now, exactly. obviously, you can go into the wood, no problem, but now we've got our reels here. So how are we going to attach the flange to the, to the reel? Glue. Yeah. <laughs> I went through like lots of options, like we could get this and I could drill, and I'm like, just glue it, Ken. E6000, baby. Right, now this is one of those things, I'm glad you bring up E6000, you do not want to use hot glue on this, because the um, the grip is just not going to be good enough, because, you know, this will get some sort of wear and tear, at least with my kids, and grab yes. the popcorn. So use E6000 or maybe a Gorilla Glue. Now just sort of line it up here, you can use the hole in the middle, just to make sure it's centered. It's centered, and of there course E6000 is strong, but it takes a little bit of time for it to actually cure, right? Exactly, so don't do this like as the kids are getting in their pajamas and you're about to start moving out. Do it like, do it like the day before. That's, that's what I would do. And then the food would be all over, the popcorn. And, the, and then all that, a whole, yep, a whole nother flange set, just yeah. exactly the same, six inch pipe with the little like uh, matching flange and pop that yep. one right there on Easy top. Easy enough, right on top there, just like this. And boom. And then and boom, and then you got that gives us our basic, bit. our basic structure. Okay. Now this looks a little bit jankety. Do you trust me? No. no. Okay. But I've I'm got gonna, another one, I'm so gonna, it's okay. I'm gonna move it out of the way. <laughs> I've got Let's one here off. that's already finished. Okay. You know that the first movie theater was opened in 1915, New Mexico, first drive-in, Teatro de Guadalupe. Is that right? The first one yet, 19. 15. Cars I barely mean, existed. I was going to say. Yeah. It's not Horses, carriages, some cars. Incredible. Yeah, absolutely great. So here you see it. What I've done is I've just spray painted the entire thing silver. Um, and I've added a little bit of gold sort of around the edge here that. and on the rim. That looks great. Now, do you have to use any kind of special uh, spray paint for this? Any regular spray paint. Okay. You do want to get something that will, that will work with metal and wood combo, but most will these days. And then what are you putting on there, the gold with... If uh, you look, this is just a little gold pin. To get this little gold line... Yeah. It's a little tricky to do it um, by hand, but if look, now I do it and I have it all messed up. Yeah. It makes it totally easy if you just go. I'll clean it. And boom, right there. there. And then I also did the matching gold on the inside just to give it a little bit of sort of glam. Breaks it up a Some little bit. Some vinyl letters on the bottom saying movie night. So fun. And now there's, it's only You're missing one thing, done. Ken. The food. The food. Here we go. All I did here, little cones, fill it up with your popcorn. Look at this. And you know what's interesting? Are these going to rest in here? Am I yep, going to make yep, a mess? rest in there. Okay. Drive-in movie theaters actually have a little bit of a resurgence with the technology today. They can actually show movies up on old buildings, not like in the old days. So That's everyone, right. I've seen it. We've gone downtown in yep. Pasadena, and they do like... A lot know, of towns have gorilla movie theaters. Sure. They have gorilla movie night in local parks. So everyone at home, like, check your local listings. You'll be surprised at how many outdoor movie theaters there are. And until then... 
Do Look it at, at home. This is going to be Are you like Swedish fish oh, or your runs guy? All of these are my fruit. favorites, everybody. <laughs> Full instructions ahead to hallmarkchannel.com.